Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 43 of my AC Milan Football Manager 2015 Let's Play. And to start off this episode, uh, we're going to look at Mattia Destro and analyze his performance for us this season. Obviously, there's been a lot of rumor around him. Like I've said, I really want to try and be a good manager uh, to get the best out of him to try and change that and not, like I said, not take kind of the weak way out and just sell him. I don't want to be pressured into that. And people said I haven't been managing uh, him in that way, but I think I have. Um, in recent games, he's turning it around. Like, for me, he doesn't play badly. He does nice things during the game. He just hasn't got the reward on the scoreboard, you know, like getting a lot of goals. But last game was very impressive. Uh, he went back to that. He didn't do too much in the game, like pass as much as he normally does in games, only six completed passes. He just really focused on scoring his goal and taking it well and having shots as well. Um, he was really more focused on that. So, yeah, I feel we are getting the best out of him, and you know he does get offside sometimes. But the thing is, we'll go back to him. It says he likes to beat the offside trap, so he should be good at that. For me, as a striker, he looks he looks great, doesn't he? Uh, I think he's just taking time to click this season um, because other players are flourishing. Like, for me, he's not doing bad. And, yeah, people said, um, I have to be a good manager. Me, I have to be a good manager. I'm, I'm leading the league by 10 points with a game in hand to enter, and I've beaten teams like Liverpool 5-0 and Juve 6-0. But, yeah, apparently I have to be a good manager. Uh, but yeah, Destro is, he, he is going to come good. Like he's not, he, he, uh, I think you're, people are just really noticing it because like, because I mention it a lot. That's why if I, if I wasn't to talk about it, like saying, oh, Destro, you need to score more goals. It probably wouldn't be such an issue. And yeah, people will be criticizing me that I'm not a good manager because he's not getting enough goals, but other players are stepping up to get goals anyway. And that's what I want. It's about the team and not about one player. He's still got 11. He's still got above that 10 at this time in the season. And we've got goals, 18, Hesse, 19. Yeah, Rodrigo, 18, Hesse, 19 from attacking midfield. Yeah, I'd, even, I'd like to focus on that a bit more. To get 19 goals out of a guy in attacking midfield starting 21 games. I'm pretty happy about that. Like, that's what I want to be focused on, kind of. The positives, not negatives. That's that's really good for mine. I've never had that probably before. Someone never playing striker. He's always played that role attacking midfield for the whole season. And he's got 19 goals. That's massive. And to me, that should be focused on more. And yeah, to get that kind of output from an attacking midfielder, I'm pretty, yes, focusing on that, I'm pretty happy with that. And Destro, on average rating for the whole season, is 7.02. Always, to me, when a player has over 7 rating, average, he's doing okay. It's not bad. So he's playing his role for the team, allowing other guys. That's what complete forward is. It's not poacher. It's not poacher. So yeah, that's what I want to just get out there. Just because a player is not, scoring goals it's it's all about the team it's not about one player like say if i was getting the same results and destro he just had more goals it doesn't really matter we're still winning there's no downside there's like acting like there's something wrong but there's nothing wrong look at all this unbeaten streak in the league <laughs> so, so yeah i don't want to be like, like people acting like something's wrong when there's nothing wrong things are going perfectly right now so guys, now it's time to move into the first game of this episode against Paomo. Uh, they're doing okay, you know, for their expectations, I feel. They're ninth. Uh, what is their kind of predictions? Their prediction is to be ninth, so they're kind of spot on there. They're just kind of a mid-table team. Sometimes I feel uh, they could be around the bottom, but I feel, yeah, that's why I think they're doing pretty well. Uh, they're kind of steering away from that again for another season but yes uh, we shall go into the game again making some rotations and again the next game will be rotations as well because the second leg of the cup uh, semi-final against Napoli and we're leading 5-0 so we can just play a lot of young guys that I've promoted here like all these guys and that guy um, I, I keep calling him or in the episode I recorded it <laughs> previously I called him Pinocchio but how do you actually pronounce his name because if he becomes a serious first teamer for us yeah I'll probably want to pronounce his name normally so leave your thoughts but yeah he's a good type he's got those good technicals creative ability and he dictates tempo as well so he can be that kind of player but if he'll be I don't think he'll be absolutely world class a guy like Adam Maher and also who else uh, Rafinha not sure if we sign him permanently but 
Alvaro Medran, they'll be better types, so probably won't break through, in my opinion. Uh, actually, we'll bring on, and even this Falicoli, Falcioli, I'm not sure, again, a lot of guys you can leave your thoughts how to say their names on. I'll drop out Maldini, because we got the Shilio on the bench, can play left back and right back. But this guy, yeah, he'll definitely start the next game, hopefully in tacky midfield. But should I start Hesse here? He still, he still, he even still needs a bit of match fitness. He's going a bit up and down in training, uh, but that's yeah because he's still coming back. So we, because he's been doing well, uh, he's going up. But also because he just come from back, come back from the injury, that will be a problem. And again, uh, this will probably be the perfect timing uh, for Destro to have a big episode or a big game in this uh, in this one. I'll probably. Oh, uh, no, we can't play Zabata as well in the next one because on loan from Napoli. Uh, so, Destro, come on. This is this is your time to shine and to show the faith that I've shown in you because I already mentioned that at the start of the episode, how I want to be a good manager, and I, I am showing that. Even if you don't believe that, I'm trying to change things up a little bit, not tactic-wise because our tactic is perfectly just, yeah, trying to talk to him. I did that um, recently and... Yeah, just a lot of that kind of stuff to make him more confident. Like talking to him ways during team talks as well. That's something I will do more. It's not always just the case of needing change tactic, which we definitely don't. Uh, that's probably the worst suggestion ever because we're killing it right now. And Destro right on clue, right on crew, Q. I can't even say that word. But <laughs> yeah, I, that, I couldn't have written that. I couldn't have written that. This is live while I'm playing the game. And he comes up and scores. There we go. Proving the doubt is wrong. Mattia Destro. Can we score again? Gulam. Dembele outside of the box. Hesse. Hesse. Oh, come on, someone. Make it two. Rodrigo. Destro. Sets it up for Hesse. So he's got a goal and assist already. Look at that. Look at that. I ain't got to change shit. He's so good. He is so good. Come on. Come on. I'm pumped now. There he goes, Destro. He set up Hesse perfectly. He's got a footballer's brain. And that's because he is the complete forward. He's so good. I know he is. I just got to keep the faith in him. And here he goes again. <laughs> oh, that was blocked. I thought he was trying to find someone. But yeah, that was deflected and he wins a corner. He's on fire today. Now Dembele. Then ballet in space. Ooh, got too much on that. But this has been a perfect start to the game. And Destro, 100%, he's back in perfect timing as well. I believe Champions League, first knockout round, are we playing next episode? The second game of the next episode, I believe. We'll see how that goes down. But hopefully, yeah, it'll be. I don't want to get injured. <laughs> That's a big thing. Now, Rodrigo. Hesse, he's getting back to his best as well. Loses in midfield here. Got to be careful. Fazquez to Dybala, he's a good striker, got to be careful of him, and he's another type that's more creative as well, you see there, he's not like a poacher type, which I feel Destro could be both, uh, I feel Destro can be creative as well, but he can also be clinical, and he's shown both of those kind of things today, now Hesse, Hesse, Destro, he's getting on it today, isn't he, he's getting on it, and that's what I mean, I feel like I am managing him well, uh, despite what some people may think, but yeah, I'm happy, and you should be considering what he's done uh, in this game so far, very early in the game. Could say the game's over already because of him. And now it's Gulam to find Dembele in space, and he smashes it. Dembele, another very good signing, and that was an excellent strike. Um, it's a very impressive performance by us here today. Uh, we're looking really, but look, <laughs> Dembele, wh what do you expect if you're not manning him up? He's all by himself. Sure, it's outside of the box, but a talented guy like he is, is going to definitely take that opportunity. And again, another highlight that starts from Gulam. He creates so much. He deserves the ratings he's getting. Now, Al Sharawi, is he going to play it? Or is he going to take it? He takes it. And look at the scoreline. Look at the scoreline. It's 4-0 in 23 minutes. <laughs> there we go. It's going to be another dominating performance by us. And if my team really wanted to, wanted to, well, this could be 10-0 plus. Because we've got four already. But, it, oh, can we go again? See, Gulam starts the highlight. Hesse, Rodrigo, it's five already. Shh. <laughs> Just shushing the crowd there. The Payomo away from home, 5-0 already. Take a look at this. 
Everything's perfect. This is what I mean. I don't have to change anything, man. We are killing it right now. We are killing it. This is perfect. We'll just go with the team talk. We'll say passionately. We'll just say... Uh, encourage. I'll just say encourage, I think. Like to say, keep playing the same way. No, not again. Not again. Is that another goal? It's six. <laughs> oh, no way. Is this real life? I thought, I knew we were playing well. It just seemed like a highlight because this has happened so many times before. I almost thought it was a replay of a goal that was already scored. It's six. It is six. Oh, this is the perfect result. This is the perfect result right now. Apparently, we're being dominated in the air, which that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> They're being dominated on the score. Six nil. Again, Gulam, Rodrigo, this almost feels like a cheat. <laughs> it's Nadal Giroud, it's seven. <laughs> it's seven. Take a look at this. Who any For anyone that doesn't think we are doing well, well... It's 7 nil, and the first half is not even done with yet. Rodrigo, Nadal, Charu. It just feels like this is a broken record. It's just the same thing again. Oh, Gulam definitely does deserve those high ratings, or he does deserve one in this game. He should have like a 10, all the goals that's coming from him. I hope we can get to 10 goals in this game. That, that will show that this kind of save is special with AC Milan. Or they might score. No, they go back. So we can set up to defend a bit better now. But the chance is going to be for them, I feel. Ah, it's not going to be a perfect game. Yeah, we're going to have a conceded goal. Unfortunately, so yeah, I, I was dreaming of like 10 nil on the scoreboard or even more than that. But they're going to have a goal to their name. It would oh, Give credit to them. That was a quality finish, Vazquez. But we're playing a good attacking game. Uh, but saying that, we're, we're on standard. How, I don't think you're going to see that too often where someone plays with a tactic and it's on standard, not attacking, and scores seven goals in the first half. I'd like to see someone <laughs> yeah, someone else do that. But I'm saying, oh, what, I, have to pra I have to praise them. Y you can't do anything else. And Destro, this is what I mean, doing these little things that I probably haven't done before, say calmly. I'm very happy with how you've played. He's got two goals, but we've dominated as a whole. You got to say that as well, but it started with Destro. But that—that's the biggest performance ever. Seven-one at half time. Wow, that's a lot of goals in a half. Eight for a game. That's pretty crazy. Uh, now Gulam, what is he going to do? He's going to do it again. Charles Rari, Nadal Chiru. Oh, that was going in. They just had someone on the line there. We may even have another chance. But that throw-in kind of thing now, it almost feels like a cheat because it's so effective. That's what it almost feels like. But I'll, I'll, like even though you may think it's a cheat, like that will make me feel good because I've never kind of ever discovered something that will be like OP in a game before. So that makes me kind of happy that we cannot kind of... I'm not even going to say abuse it. I don't, like, I don't like saying that kind of thing. I've just found something that works well for us. And Gulam, 9.1, absolutely killing it. Probably deserves more than that. Dembele will give a little bit of a rest. Don't want him to get injured. Um, Thomas Partey, make it a bit more defensive. I don't really want to do that. See, why would Adam Maher have poor morale? Makes no sense. Peruzzi, they're all playing well, really. Gulam might give uh, Ben Davis a gig. Anyone else needs to be sub? Hesse? Might go three subs at once. I know, I'd, ideally, I don't want to do it a lot. But it's a good opportunity I can give someone like Rodrigo De Paul, who obviously would want to play a bit more, some game time. Well, I whoa, this was a perfect time. Like what I talked about at the start of the episode, it was a perfect timing to have a perfect game, really. You say, yeah, we can see a goal won't be a perfect game, but a result like this, it's a perfect time to have a result like this to prove that, yeah, obviously what I'm doing is good with AC Milan, and it's really it's not just good, it's really special. This is special. Something I'm building here with AC Milan. The first season, I'm not sure. What do you think of our first season? I th For me, I was building towards this season we're having now. I didn't think it will come this season, The how we're dominating. I wanted to build towards that. Uh, it was an okay season. Obviously, we qualified for Champions League. Got Milan back in Champions League. That's what I want. But phew, I, I, surely we could have a chance to win Champions League this season. And that would be amazing. I just feel something special with this Milan team right now, as Junior Kakara is running forward to Paolo Dybala. What is he going to do? Switches play. Come on, intercept here. 
It's Polyakov. They go back to Goldenigger. He has an interesting name. And now it's Trezeguet in midfield. Come on, don't let them have another. They could have two. Oh, a bit lucky there. And see, if they get maybe one more goal, it may just seem like a high-scoring game and not just like a really dominant performance for ourselves. And yeah, I don't want it to be like that. Uh, but yeah, I'll just keep it the way we're playing, really. I don't need to change too much. This game was won in the first half. So that's what I mean. That usually happens in Football Manager. You have an amazing first half. You score heaps of goals. And that's that's just it. The second half, they just slow down a bit. When this game should have been... We should have scored over 10 goals. But I'm fine with it. <laughs> that first half was crazy. I'd rather my team just chill in the second half and yeah, not waste their energy or something like that. Just hold on to the result, not concede anymore. That's also good at the same time, showing our defensive ability in a high-scoring game, only conceding the one shot on target, which that's FM against me. One shot on target and they score. It's just the way it works. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you got to say passionately and say, I'm very happy with the result. You couldn't be. You couldn't be anything else. You couldn't be anything else but happy. And Destro, oh, he's back on his form of last season without a doubt. Maybe even better he could be pushing forward now. So, guys, it's time to move on off of that amazing performance. Now, we've got a second leg in the semi-final, obviously, uh, to get into the final of the Italian Cup. I want to win it this year. Uh, we fell at the final hurdle against Juve, and it's still up for grabs in the second leg of the other one, Juve. I'd love Roma. Well, I'd say Juve as well. No, actually, I want to face Juve in the final so we can beat them again, and hopefully it may be hard to get another 6-0 performance against them, but I just want to win. These performances are rare to win by this much, like 7-1s, but I've I've never done them this regularly in a season, like just beat 5-0 Napoli in the previous episode, um, like when it's 5 or more, you know, the 6-0 against Juve, um, the Liverpool, uh, we lost 6-2, then it's crazy how things just turned around, you know, Liverpool 5-0, and that kind of stuff, you don't see this often <laughs> in a season. But like I said, I know we're on to something special and I wouldn't be expecting to win by that much today uh, because we are having some young guys in. Uh, we've got Gianluca Luca Rally. He's going to be a future centre-back for us. He's got class potential. He's going to be a, a Serie A player in the future. He's going to be probably an Italian centre-back in the future. High potential. Uh, we'll see how he performs. Today, though, um, Andreas Lamas is... I don't know how good he'll be and I'm not sure even if we will use him in the future. He's just got good potential, uh, like to be a good player in the Serie A, not really world-class or leading or star or anything like that, but it'll be just good to give him a go here, just to be realistic. Maybe he'll uh, show up and perform. Uh, Peruzzi, I still want to play. I want to play him a lot to get his happiness. I would have played Christian Maldini, but I want to, yeah, just play him. <laughs> this is a great opportunity to give him another game, you know. And obviously, Destro is going to play again. I just want him to, yeah, continue to dominate. And Zapata's illegible, so <laughs> uh, it's kind of something I have to do selection-wise. And Falacioli, uh, he's going to play Maher, Senemir. So, yeah, a lot of young guys in this game. Or Letty as well on the right wing, going to do very well, hopefully. Another very high-potential, world-class potential lad we have who came through. He's killing it. He was killing it in the under-18s. Look at that. Five goals, eight assists, 7.34 rating. Definitely does deserve a chance and this is like in a semi-final against a big team but it's like we have we have a good result in the first leg so look a rally again like i've mentioned previously i just like to give the lowest numbers available and i'll give 27 to orletti both of them very excited i don't want to say one is better than the other because they're both different positions and we're favorites i'm not sure so if we can win here like how many players that i wouldn't start naturally in a league game there will be one two, three, four, four players. And that's a lot, uh, two in defense and like one in midfield or two in there, yeah, two in midfield, like attacking midfield and winger. So you could bear them. They're going really big, but we shouldn't lose more than five nil. Like I think if we can manage to avoid losing this game, that's going to be big for those young lads. So we'll say passionately, look, those <laughs> four guys haven't even played a game for us yet. I'm just going to say, Ooh, I expect you to come back. After this match as finalist, yeah, just keep them some confidence and we'll go assertively our faith in you just to give them faith at the same time. A good mix of expectations and the reactions there. Destro looking happy. I'd love for him to smash another few goals in this game. I think he could. 
if the service is provided. So Mertens, Lamas does well there. See, I don't think he's good. He doesn't even have a like a picture of his face, but we'll just see how he goes. Don't think he'll be in the team in the future. Just saying. Now Mertens on the ball. Come on, intercepts Peruzzi. Well done. Have a good game. I want him to be happy. <laughs> Peruzzi. Oh, finds Orletti. Sets it. Set it. What are you doing? Oh, no. But it's exciting. Uh, like this young, yeah, pacey winger just trying to run past the defense. It's positive signs. Regardless, nothing came from it. But it's exciting to see uh, that kind of stuff. So, uh, Krivsov picks up a yellow card, unfortunately, there. Higuain is on the ball. He's going to try and get it in. And Diego Lopez coming in for a game as well to get a bit more match fitness. And some experience makes a couple of important saves. He shows that experience with a couple of young defenders playing. He's an experienced head in defense. And he'll help them as well. That's perfect to have. Maybe opposed to Liali, who doesn't have that experience in him. He'll be more of a leader than Liali would behind those lads who don't have experience. And even if we hold on for a draw, who knows? Falakioli, oh, Orletti, Orletti, Destro, he gets another, he gets another, and he is on, oh, it's offside, okay, okay, he's still getting offsides, even though he has, tries to beat the offside trap, but it, maybe is that the problem, is that the problem that he tries to beat the offside trap, and he shouldn't, but, oh, he, oh, look, that's, that's pretty much even, that's pretty much even, what happened to attack advantage supposed to be going to the attacking team with offside? It was basically online. So don't give me that. But anyway, <laughs> uh, a bit disappointed we're not going in leading of this leg anyway. Uh, we'll say don't get complacent out there, even though we are going to win this for sure. But yeah, I would love to get a victory for those young guys playing today. Even DePaul, he needs some match fitness, so I'm playing him. And now DePaul, he gets it back, but Albiol clears that one. And Destro, see, he gets another offside. That He obviously probably didn't get a goal <laughs> from that one, so that's not why it shows. See, we're getting lots of offsides in Genoa, and Destro, another one. Had three in that short period. Hmm, that's interesting. But anyway, uh, Lamas is going to have to come off here. Uh, we'll bring on Ben Davis. Uh, anyone else? Maybe to go to win it now. Rodrigo DePaul will come off, and we shall bring on Stefan al -Sharawi. And maybe that Pinocchio guy again. <laughs> former hair but again yes please leave in your comments how to exactly say his name because it is pretty long and any other players uh, and in a nice way as well like i said i like it when people leave constructive feedback um in like a positive way you know um i've probably people said, said that in the possible um in the future sorry uh that they think i don't listen to constructive feedback but that couldn't be any more wrong i want to i want to see what you want to uh, what you think should be improved and what I should do better, but when there's not an insult at the end of it, which is usually the case, <laughs> they have to just like end something when they finish the comment uh, to insult me or at the start of the comment as well. Just just stop it there at the constructive feedback because then I will actually take it on board and not just ignore it or delete it or block you or whatever, which is usually the case because yeah, I'm not here to be insulted on YouTube. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just a little tip there. But come on, let's win this game. Even though I don't really care if we win this leg or not because we're still advancing. It's great experience to young guys. It's Insigne now. Oh, no, Tiguan. Oh, cool, good save, Diego Lopez. That's what he needs as well. Diego Lopez, he needs to have a good game, and but not to concede. Ah, fuck that, man. Oh, no. See, that will deplete his confidence. Like, he feels he was having a good game. He was having a good game, but then just a goal, that's going to deplete it. But yeah, this was always just about getting some experience into young guys, you know. But I'd love to not lose it. Come on, Destro. Destro. Oh, he did probably uh, the best he could uh, from that opportunity. He got on target. Maybe we'll push to more attacking now. We have to go for it. I know it's hard because we don't have our best lads out there, but we can still just go for it. Uh, pump the ball into the box. Push higher up. Just all that shit. Uh, shoot on sight. There we go. Go for it. To get something late. And that would be good. Oh, see, look at that fella, Cioli. And now he gets it over. Oh, almost made away over the top. See, there is definitely signs for these young guys. They're doing some nice things. But Napoli probably have the better players on the pitch today. As a team, as a whole. 
Sure, we got some single quality players, but as a team, they are probably better. And Diego Lopez probably didn't have to save that, if I'm honest. And I might even go overload right now, and we'll go with the team talk. Just say passionately, uh, push forward. Go push forward. So Mertens now. See, I won't really mind. I would, I just don't like. I don't like losing, especially with a big season like this. But obviously, you know why. If we lose this game one nil, just because the young guys. Well, they almost score again, but we escape from that. I feel you got to do it at some point. Big teams do that, and it shows we are at that level now as a big team. Uh, we will give actual young guys in the youth team, not just reserve players. Uh, who are rotations and that actual young players from the youth team uh, to play some games and and this is going to be important for them it's probably ugh, it's hard to say but it's almost as important as a whole season out on loan in my opinion a semi-final where we advance we lose the game but we still advance i'll just say yeah well done you made the final and they're happy with that see they they didn't get demotivated because they lost we're moving on. So that's a nice little thing to do for those young guys who probably won't play again for a really long time. Well, they probably won't play again for the rest of the season because we won't be in that situation where we would be, yeah, leading 5-0. So, it was a... I wouldn't say it's a good performance. That would be lying. That would just be lying a bit. But I'll say it was good signs. It was we probably it was hard to win with four young guys playing that's never played a first-team game before, very young players, and some guys lacking match fitness. But they're going to take it for the future and probably going to be, especially the two regions we got with world-class potential, that's going to help them in the future to be part of the first team. It will kick on their development. So guys, we'll leave it here. And obviously the main focus from this episode is winning 7-1 and Destro showing that he has got the ability. Uh, obviously the loss is not really seen as a, lot, a loss because we advance to the final against Juve or Roma. Can we play to see who actually wins that game? Because I'd like... I would imagine it's now just around the same day because I want to know who I'm going to be playing in the final and I want to let you guys know that. And to see Leverkusen will be the second game of the next episode. Get pumped for that and we're hitting the right form at the right time uh, really to face them away from home in the first leg to hopefully score some away goals. And we're going to play Juve. I'm happy about that. Roma might have been a bit easier, but I'll take Juve. Do they have any major injuries? But when would the final be? Yeah, I didn't think it would be anytime soon. Yeah, it's like towards the end of the season. So we don't have to worry about that or injuries they have because they'll probably recover by then. So yeah, cup final will be focused later in the season. But hopefully this time we can beat Juve. That's funny, like two seasons in a row, uh, same teams facing off. But I feel this time we could get the better of them. But of course, it's kind of, again, like Man United, now it's time to focus on Champions League because we're really going to win the league. We're killing it. Head by 13 points, still a game in hand to Inter. I'd drop a like on the video. And again, hopefully you can continue to support this series and how we're doing as well. Hopefully, yeah, everyone, I don't think you can find a fault <laughs> with how we're playing right now uh, or I'll challenge you too. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it. Drop a like and I'll see you guys next time.